Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a nail polish haul video. Officially this is actually my first haul video and the reason for that is because obviously the amount of polishes that I have, if I do buy a new polish it's generally only one or two. But recently I went down to Beauty UK in Birmingham and what that is is that's an event for nail, hair, beauty and holistic professionals and they just showcase new products, we've got all kinds of different brands there. They showcase new products give you demonstrations and stuff like that so I took advantage of the very small kind of offer prices that they had and bought a few together so I've got 10 polishes to show you and I hope you like the video so I got six colours from the same company which is YCC now these are my first polishes from this company so I decided to just pick up a few test them out but now I'm looking at it it seems that three of the colours are very similar to each other but they are still really pretty now another thing that I noticed bringing them home is that the bottle is very similar to sinful colours if I show you there the bottles are near enough identical in size and um, the YCC one is slightly taller but size wise of the actual glass bottle they seem to be identical so I don't know if they're related to, in some company aspect but that being said if I get straight into it and show you the first one so they only have numbers these polishes the first one is 076 and it's this colour here on my thumb and it's a peachy pink gold sort of shade really shimmery really does catch the light what I'm showing you here is the colour without a top coat so you can see how shiny it is anyway and this is two coats of it the first coat doesn't really cover very well but the second coat has really brought it up well but that's the first one 076 This one is 093 and again it's the same tone as the first one. I'm going to say that it's more of a autumny copper red sort of tone and it's just amazing the shimmer on it if I just show you on my thumb. The colour is really gorgeous, I really like this one. This is 062 and again it's the same sort of tone what I'm noticing with these first three that I'm showing you is that it's almost like they're the same tones but they're slightly different in the size of kind of the chunky bits of shimmer so this is the smallest in terms of chunkiness the last one I show you is the absolute chunkiest one and the first one I showed you is the middle of the range version but it's a really gorgeous gold tone bits of peach purple kind of a plum sort of shimmer to it but really pretty if I show you those three together so on the left we've got 062 in the middle 076 and the end 093 the next one is a really stunning colour and it's number 110 there it is there and it's just an amazing blue with all different types of sparkle and kind of holographic pieces in it it's a really gorgeous colour what I like about this one it's quite surprising to me is that I expected that I would have to have some sort of colour underneath it but actually the way this polish is you don't need to have very many coats of it what I've shown you on my thumb here is two coats but it actually has got like a blue background to it you can put uh, another blue underneath it which would make it a little bit more intense but it does have coverage just with two coats and another thing is although the glitter is quite chunky it doesn't seem to be stuck out like some polishes so the nail is fairly smooth after coverage as well this one is 120 there's the number there and it's kind of like a, a dusty pink but it's got micro shimmer 
of like holographic pieces in it. To be honest with you, I am so impressed with this one and the next one that I'm going to show you. And the reason for that is because I always think in the bottles most polishes look amazing and then when they get brought out and put onto a nail they don't look the same as and I feel like this one definitely does the reason for that is I've got one similar and it's by Nubar it's the only Nubar one that I've got and when you apply it yes it looks the same as the bottle but when it actually dries it's almost where those kind of shimmery micro pieces rise to the surface and make the surface rough and I really don't like that but this one literally looks like it is in the bottle and it's very smooth with it and again this is without a top coat so with a top coat it would look more shiny than this this is 122 and just like the 120 which I've just shown you there it's got that same type of micro shimmer to it. Maybe a little bit less than 120, but if I just show you up close. Really beautiful. Again, it's got that same sort of effect, whereas it's not raised, it's lovely and smooth, and it's just got a really nice texture to it. So here's all the YCC polishes that I got all together. To be honest with you, if I could have gone back in time, I probably would have got more than what I actually did end up bringing home, just because they've more than exceeded my expectations. I really didn't think that the... I hadn't heard of the brand, I wasn't really thinking very much of them, but actually they are really good, and I'm so surprised over the quality of them. So I definitely do recommend them. I've looked online, and the most readily available place that I can find is typically eBay. In the UK, eBay costs, they're looking at really the someone that's selling them for 4 99 including postage. So you are looking at around £5 per bottle. But that's that, and I'll show you the next lot. So here's the other four polishes that I bought. They're all by Colour Club. These are the first polishes that I bought from this brand. I have and always will buy the nail art striping brushes from them as they do seem to be really good and they've got a wide selection of colours but these are the first actual polishes I have to be honest it's not anything groundbreaking so I'm not necessarily really impressed or anything by these but they're just kind of polishes that I will obviously use so if I just show you them they're all polishes that will need a colour underneath them because they really don't have that coverage unless you put kind of a really lot of layers on it and why would you do that that would chip a lot easier so if I just show you the colours and you get the idea of it these have got names and numbers so this first one is 945 and it's called take the stage and as you can see it's gold glitter and it's got chunks of kind of like the holographic sort of pattern to it as well it's really pretty but as I say you definitely need another colour underneath it this next one is the what I thought was the silver as opposed to the gold but it hasn't got any holographic pieces in it the name of this one it's the 948 and it's in platinum record it's really more of a chunky silver polish this next one's the one that really caught my eye because I think I'm not gonna say it's kind of anywhere near identical but it might be similar to the Deborah Lip and happy birthday but this one here for show you their name it's 946 and the name of it is wish upon a rock star and it's got all of those different generally small pieces of glitter it's got you kind know, of the golds the blues the greens the reds it's got slightly larger chunks of purple in it as well, but really pretty. And the last one is 949, and the name of this one is It's a Hit. The thing that got me with this one, it's why I bought it, is it kind of looked to me in the bottle like it was curls of kind of like glitter, but like a little curls of it. But actually, when it comes out onto the nail, all it is really is hexagons 
so it's not like they're curled in any way or look any more any more unusual than any other polish but in the bottle they do look amazing but it's one of those sort of polishes where when you put it on the nail you've got to really mess about with it just to get them into the right place as they don't really paint on evenly so here's all the Colour Club polishes together. Honestly, they're not the end of the world. They're really pretty. I will definitely use them. It's just that they're nothing amazing, whereas I'd say to you, you know, run out and go and buy them now. They're not really that good. And there's loads of other alternatives by different brands, probably cheaper as well, that will easily just do the same job. But there they all are. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and thanks very much for your time.